Hello and welcome back to another How To Django Tour. My name is Tom with the Massacre Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and build off our slug generator in Django tutorial and show you how you can set the slug to unique if you already have an existing database. Because if any of you guys followed along in, in creating our um, slug generator, you're probably like, how would I convert a... Uh, how would I add a slug to say if you're using prim primary key or ID or something like that to identify your objects? Now, how would I add a slug to that if my database already exists? Well, that's something they don't really explain to you in the Django doc documentation. So, what I'm going to do is show you how to handle this. So, in my case, over at masscode.online, when we start building out this site, uh, I wasn't really thinking SEO. I kind of do what I always do and I throw it out there and I just use primary key. I'm not too focused on SEO. But when I went to convert it to SEO after one of our followers named Eric who uh, sent me an email and uh, was letting me know that, hey, you guys should be a lot more popular. You should focus on SEO. Um, I was like, yeah, maybe we should uh, set up slugs on our own site since we're teaching it and I use it on my client sites let's go ahead and set up on our site well the problem is we already had an existing database with hundreds of tutorials on there <clears throat> and we had no slug in our database so what we had to do is what I'm going to show you here today is go ahead and insert a slug and the process of doing this is we go ahead and we add a slug we set it to blank saying hey uh, I don't care what you make the slug, just make sure the slug gets into the database for each, for each, uh, object. And then what we do is we go ahead and run another migration. And while we run that migration, we go, Hey, redo all these slugs that you just created and make them unique for us because we want them to be unique on the first one. We can't make them unique because we're going to have all types of errors. Um, and we're just trying to get the slug in there. All right, so you guys will see what I mean as we walk through this. Well, let's just take a quick glance at what we got set up here. Here's our models. We got a simple model called post with a title on the body. All right, we got our slug generator from our slug generator Django 2.0 tutorial where we showed you how to build a slug generator and the bulk of it is here in the utils.py file. So basically what this little generator does is it takes the title converts it to a slugify um, object and if that slugify object exists in the database we'll go ahead and kick on the um, primary key on the end of it and we'll make it unique that way all right so um, and then in our views I just got a basic detail view so I can show you guys that we already have a post or an object in our database so that is how that's set up now Let's take a look at this. Um, here's our object, and we're using primary key right now as the main identifier in our URL. So let's get started with how we're going to set this up and make this all work. All right, first things first, we're going to go ahead and go into our models.py and we're going to add a slug field. All right, so slug is equal to models.slug field. Oh, I spelled models wrong like that all right and this is gonna be set to a max length of 150 and we're gonna set blank to true now the reason why we're saying blank to true and the reason why we can't set it to unique right now is I kind of explained this before we're gonna set the blank to true because <clears throat> if we don't set it blank to true when we try to migrate this it's gonna say whoa set a default you know or um, you need something here because your other objects do not have slug. So we're going to set the blank to true and say, hey, just throw that field in there. I don't give a crap what it says. All right. That's that's the basic uh, thought process in this. Now, if we set it unique to true, this will not work if we set it to unique to true now, because when we go ahead and run this, it's going to say the database or the migration is going to kick back and say, hey, you got X amount of objects here returning the same blank slug um that that's you know that's against the unique constraint so we would have an error there so what we have to do is set the blank and not worry about unique for this 
for this moment. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and run Python manage.py make migrations. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll kill my server. There we go. Python manage.py make migrations. All right. And no errors. Python manage. Woo. Um, hold on. Before we do that, we got to do something else. Whoops. We're going to go ahead and open our migrations folder. All right. My last migration I made was the one where we set the slug. See right here, slug. And now this is where the magic is going to happen. Um, at the top of the file, we're going to go ahead and bring in our from tutorial. Uh, this is going to be different for you guys because um, this is where we're bringing in the unique uh, slug generator. So dot utils and then import uh, unique slug gen e gen e retor like that. All right. So now we're bringing that into play. And now what I'm going to do is come down and I'm going to create a function right down here. And I'm going to say define update slug. And this is going to take uh, two parameters, apps and schema editor. Like that. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and say tutorial is equal to apps.get underscore model. And then in here, we're going to say main. So this is our, our main app. Where is it? All right here, main. Um, and then the next thing is going to be our model itself. So we're going to say tutorial or no. No, it's not tutorial. This, yeah, yeah. All right, it's post. That's right, I made it post. So post like that. And we're going to come down and do uh, for instance in. So each object that's in the d uh, database for the post objects dot all. We're going to go ahead and do if not instance dot slug. So if the slug does not exist, and then we're going to say instance dot slug is equal to unique slug generator. Then we're going to pass in instance as an argument, uh, instance dot title and instance dot slug. And then I'm just going to save that instance. Hold on. Save that instance over here. Instance dot save like that. All right. So basically what we're going to do, just review this real quick so you guys completely understand what's going on here. We created a function and what it's going to do is go ahead and get the, go into the main application and find the main application, I should say. And then in there, go to the, get the model post. All right. And we're setting that equal to here. And then we're coming down and say, for instance, in post.objects.all, we're going to say if the, slug doesn't exist we're going to go ahead and create a slug with instance.slug is unique slug generator and we're going to get the instance instance title and instance slug and pass that into our generator up here right here and we'll either create the slug if the slug already exists and we'll uh, create the slug and then throw in the primary key on the back end and then back into our migrations document here we're going to save it. Now, the one last thing we need to do here is we're going to go ahead and throw in a run Python on migrations. And what this is going to do is after we create the slug, we're going to go ahead and run the update slug function up here, update slug function right here. And we're going to run that after we migrate the slug into there. And what it's going to do is create all the slugs for us, for all our objects. Um, and then I'll show you what we do next. So migrations dot run Python and we're going to say update slug comma reverse code. And then we're going to say migrations dot run Python and nope, nope, N O O O P. There we go. All right. So now that we did that, we should be able to run Python manage.py migrate. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do Python manage.py 
migrate like that. All right, no errors. So now it migrated that post. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and keep rolling. Now the issue we have now is cool. We created all these slugs for our objects, but there's one issue. They're not unique, all right? So they could all be the same. Unfortunately, I only have one object in this database, so I can't really show you like, hey, hey, this is what could possibly happen. But they may be unique. They may not be unique. We kind of don't know what is set. So to protect ourselves against this issue, we're going to go ahead and modify. Well, actually, yeah, we are going to modify. Well, let's go ahead into our models again. And this time we're going to go ahead and take out the blank is equal to true and change it to unique is equal to true. All right. Cool. Now we're going to go ahead and run python manage.py, make migrations like that. All right, cool. We made a migration, no errors. All right, moving right along here. Now, here is what we need to do next. We're going to go to our next migration, which is below the one we just modified, and open that one up. Now we're going to go ahead and bring in the same old slug generator into this one. And we're going to do almost the same exact thing that we did before. Like I said, this time we wanted to set a unique slug for each one. But we can take all this same code and use it over again. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the migrations, our second migration we just made. And instead of putting our migrations run Python, uh, call down here, we're going to actually put it in front of the actual migration right here. All right. Uh, there should be a comma on the end of that. So make sure you have a comma on the end there. And this all looks beautiful. Beautiful. We're just modifying the crap out of this migration. Okay, let's go ahead and run Python manage.py migrate and cross your fingers and hope for no errors boom sweet no errors let's go ahead and run python manage.py run server but before i can even do that i'm going to need to open up my urls and change it from primary key to um where the hell oh, i put my urls in here oh, okay we're going to put this to slug versus primary key and then open up my views and set this to slug like that and just slug is equal to slug slug is equal to slug like that and now i should be able to open up my thing and hit return and i should get an error here as long as i don't have come on come on that here not found all right so the primary key is not found that's a good start now we're going to go ahead and put um the slug in which i don't know what the slug is so how are we going to find that out we're going to go ahead and go to admin so hold on at everything set up but this so we'll go ahead and go here uh, admin bum, 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 bum. Now, obviously, on your legit website, uh, you would have this all properly set up. So um, I am hidden right there's my slug. So I'm going to go ahead in here, and I'm going to do post, and then post, and then paste in. I am hidden, and I should see the post. There you go. So what we did in today's tutorial is we took, um, we added unique slug to an existing database with existing objects and modify them. Now, um, that's really cool because if you uh, have any other issues, we can actually use something like this, like say, hey, I wanna make a whole modification to my database. Well, hey, using this method, you can do that as long as you think it out and understand what's going on. Like I showed you is first, we had to go ahead and create the slug and kind of fake the data into it 
And then we went back and remodified that that information by making it unique. All right, so that's all cool and everything. Now, if you guys are using a Postgres database, I need to show you something. All right, uh, there's one issue that needs to be addressed, and that issue is going to be. Uh, bu bu we're going to have to run uh, in here above the migration. We're going to go ahead and run migrations dot run SQL. All right. And we're going to go ahead and set whoops, all caps set constraints all immediate. Now, what this does, did I spell C-O-N-S-T-R-A-T-I-R? You shouldn't be there. All right, constraints. Now, what this does is if you try to do this on a Postgres database, you're going to run into an error that says uh, your pending trigger events warning error from Postgres. Basically, it's saying, hey, you can't do this um, because of the constraints. All right, so I'm going to show you how what this does right here is going to show you this is going to make you make you make Postgres say, all right. We're not even going to worry about the constraints at the moment. We're going to go ahead and run this migration. So basically, we're turning off the, the constraints right here. And then we're going to go ahead and turn it back on right here. So add a comma after this uh, run Python. And then we're going to go ahead and run migration. Ooh, migrations. Migrations. There we go. Dot run SQL and migrations dot run SQL nope and then we're gonna go ahead and reverse SQL and this time we're gonna set uh, constraints all did I spell constraints wrong again and I start doing these tutorials and, and I lose my mind constraints all and then immediate there we go. All right. So basically what we're doing is setting off, uh, turning off the constraints on the um, migration. We're making the migration. We're running the um, update slug function up here in the migration. And then what we're doing down here is we're going to go ahead and um, set the constraints back to on. Um, let's go ahead and put this also in your other migration, your number two migration that you need to run. Um, and we're going to put it in the same location. So we'll put it above the run um, Python. And then the this one down here below. This way you do not get the awesome pending trigger events warning, which will make you scratch your head for multiple hours like I did today. So. If you guys have any questions, head over to mastercode.online. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions or help you out with this. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we do something else cool with Django. Have a good day. And one last thing, uh, since we made the changes here with all this, uh, you must run your make migrations and migrate one more time to your Postgres database for this all to work. Once again, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.